Today, <laughs> we're going to tell you all about our Champion Dual Fuel 3400 inverter generator, which we have never used. Never. We have had the RV for two years, and we've had the uh, and we've been on the road for over a year. Mm -hmm. We've had the generator. Uh, we bought it at the same time we bought the RV, so yeah. two years we've had this generator and never even fired it up. Not once. Still had the wrapping on the <laughs> on the little hookups for the for the propane and everything. Yeah. So it's it's still. All we did was take it out of the box. That's it. That's it. <laughs> and threw it in the the storage. Yep. Yeah, and so this whole deal did not go off without a hitch, mm -mm. including the bit that we shot for the intro of this video, which I lost. <laughs> so that's why we're shooting this <laughs> now. I lose it. I don't know. It's just lost. <laughs> it's just... Um, <sighs> this inverter generator it will power your your RV with mm -hmm. 30 amp power, uh, so you can use most of your stuff. It's just like plugging into a to a 30 amp hookup yeah. if your RV is already 30 amp then you'll be good to go um it costs about a thousand bucks yeah and uh, we have a link that we'll put in the description if you want to go look at them or if you want to go buy one uh, you can also find it on our amazon store and mm -hmm. we'll leave a link down there where you can find all the stuff that we like and we use for our rv inside and out um but let's um it's it's a kind of a unique that's a unique video it went as well as I expected it to go for us. Mind you, this is in the midst of all this craziness with the leak in our RV and the issue with me smashing the laptop. Yeah. Because <laughs> I yeah. got mad at the laptop, so I smashed it. So that might have been where we lost the clip. I don't know. Oh, yeah. That's probably <laughs> where the clip is in the smashed computer. <laughs> anyway. Let's get to the generator stuff. <laughs> okay, let's do that. <laughs> All right, the first thing that we got to do is we got to take this panel off right here. There's a couple of screws you got to get into there because you got to get into the battery compartment. This thing is not shipped or um, stored with the terminals connected to the battery. So we got to make sure we get that hooked up first. And now we have the, uh, the leads connected to the battery and the battery reinstalled. It just attaches. With this little strap here on the side so if you ever need to take that out you just create some slack here and it just unhooks off the little thing or hooks back on to hold the battery in place all right now we're on the back side of the generator there's a panel here that i'm going to have to open up to uh, put in the oil for the very first time so we'll take this so you can see inside of there um, that's all the engine component parts and then down here is where you're going to add the oil and you can see that the manufacturer recommends 10w30 to add to this now it says to add 0.6 of a liter to this and you can see um, there's a fill line down here on this thing so um, we will add it you will need a funnel put it back in there Without screwing the threads in is how you check it, they say. And she's full. Cool. Next thing I've done is I've moved the generator out away from the RV. Uh, manufacturers suggest at least five feet. I'm about 10 to 12 feet away from the, from the RV now, but you want to get this thing out to a well ventilated area. You don't want any carbon monoxide issues or anything like that. Now, noise wise, because it's an inverter generator, it's supposed to be super quiet. So. Um, Let's get this thing hooked up to the propane and get it fired up and we'll see how quiet it is. And there is a little cover here for the plug-in for the propane. You just flip this guy up. And then there's a quick release thing right here. So you push that in, shoot the other end in there and it pops right in. Make sure that's locked in. Also, when you flip this up to connect this, it automatically switches it from gasoline mode to propane mode if you want to go to gasoline mode you'll have to unhook your propane flip this cover back over that'll push this little guy down and putting it right back into gasoline mode now this generator does have an automatic start which is right here this button and then there is a manual start which is this guy right here now what i'm going to do is before i start this i'm going to turn the battery back off so this thing does not fire up what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull this manual pull start a couple of times 
and that's just to get the oil moving around into the moving parts before I try to fire this up I don't want to fire it up dry uh, and get those parts moving without any kind of lubrication in there so I'll give this a couple of pulls not to start it just to get stuff moving around just a little bit not even pulling it that hard just three or four times just to get okay now if I have done everything properly I should just have to turn this on on the battery and then push and hold this to start the generator well as you could see the generator did not start and I was thinking that the battery inside the generator was only a year old but it really is two years old because we've been on the road for a year but we've owned the RV for two years we bought the generator at the same time we bought the RV so it's been sitting two years without being used and apparently that's not good for batteries <laughs> so went to Harbor Freight bought the wrong battery had to go back to Harbor Freight they didn't have the right battery Lowe's didn't have the right battery tractor supply didn't have the right battery and I went to a place called batteries and bulbs and they do have the right battery lucky us for a hundred dollars yeah so a tenth of the price of this is the battery this is gonna be the worst generator video you've ever watched and I hope to God this works <laughs> it doesn't work I'll definitely cut the camera off because I'm gonna have a moment <laughs> <laughs> here we go <laughs> all right the new battery is in let's kick on the propane this is up to the propane choke is out power on process at like 11 o'clock in the morning it's like 3 30 in the afternoon <laughs> over a hundred dollars of supplies and, and several hours of driving around you with the angry Hulk face <laughs> I was so mad earlier I'm still not happy about spending the hundred dollars I'm sure I could have got on Amazon. I know you're going to comment. You're going to say, you could have got on Amazon. But I already got the thing out, man. It's heavy to get out of the thing. And I already, I was like, I'm not quitting until I have the generator running today. Well, we have it positioned right outside of the, the slide right here. And um, can't hear it very loudly. No, it's not terrible. When the TV's on got other noises going yeah I think that when we're actually using it we'll probably put it on the other side yeah because we sit we on this sit on side. side so if we put it on that side we get that whole slide and there's no windows there yeah so that will kind of break up the sound a little bit better too so yeah. but for now we'll leave it over here at least for the break-in period so we're gonna do break-in period mm -hmm. it's 320 now so it has to run until 820 tonight which it's gonna be dark and so um after the break-in period we have to change the oil mm -hmm. and then tomorrow we'll come back and it'll be a few seconds for you it'll be overnight for us but we will turn it back on after we change the oil and then we will plug the rv into it and run it with a load okay You're waiting for me to say something, weren't you? Yeah, I was waiting for you to say something <laughs> smart ass. <laughs> I'm being good today. All right. It's yeah. Sunday. <laughs> she, Leslie's been out enjoying the, the beautiful day. Beautiful guarding the generator outside. And I way. have been just driving all over. I, I even watched Florida. you drive by yeah. on the main road. I just yeah. have to get gas because I drove so much around <laughs> <I ran out laughs> <of> gas. <laughs> I'm glad you're having a good time. With it. Yeah. I wasn't exaggerating. If that thing wouldn't have started, I would have been throwing generators. It would have been a whole like Christmas vacation scene when he 
loses it over the jelly of the yeah. glove. Yeah. There's a fence. <laughs> look, look. There's a fence over there. And the generator is right there. So I would have I would have hoped to that thing right over the fence. And I'd have been like, well, we just are never are gonna be anywhere we need a generator. We'll just plug into whatever. <laughs> and if the power goes out, we'll move on to the next campground because I'm not messing with the generator anymore. <laughs> um, yeah. Sounds like a plan. All right, but hey, it's working. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. All right, we're gonna finish up with this generator stuff. We, uh, we ran it through the breakthrough period, which was five hours. It ran into like a little after eight o'clock PM and so now we have the generator back out and after the break-in period we have to change the oil in order to change the oil the engine has to be hot so we're gonna fire this thing back up we're gonna let it run for a little bit get the temperature back up in the generator and then we'll do the oil change once we do the oil change we'll fire it back up and we'll start running this generator on a load to see how it does powering our RV now that the engine's hot, we have to get into this panel here to get access to be able to change the oil. You will need a container something like this. I like to use the enclosed one. So when the oil drains, it'll go inside of here. It's all contained in here. That way it's not sloshing or spilling around as I'm transporting this over to a uh, disposal location, which you can usually take to like AutoZone, O'Reilly's, uh, Advanced Auto Parts, anywhere where you you can purchase oil you can usually dump old oil as well now i have my generator set up on the corner here just to give it a little height it has to get up off the ground so that gravity can do its thing i'm going to take the pliers i'm going to uncrimp this little guy here and then i'll pull this this tubing off of this like so and then Uh, there's a little there's a little thing right here where you can just drain that drain that out and now you can see that the oil is is coming out all right it looks like all the oil is done draining out so when that is complete now you just take your tube you put it back on here you'll take your pliers you'll crimp this to move it up to that fitting and then release it back so that that is held snugly in place. All right, let's fire this bad boy up again. Now we just have to um, unhook the RV from the pedestal power and hook it up to the generator and see how it works all right hopefully you can hear me i got the generator running over there and the rv is hooked up here it's already hooked up to a pedestal here which this is a 30 amp already and as you can see our rv is a 50 amp rv so i have our 50 amp plug plugged into this dog bone which basically dog bones it down to uh to a 30 amp uh power hookup so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna unhook this whole thing. I'm gonna turn this off real fast. I just kicked the power off in the RV. And so now I'm gonna unplug this. Let's go see if the power's on. It's like the power's back on in the, in the RV. I'm gonna kick on the AC. AC is on. Well, I'm standing way over here so that you can hear me, but the, the, uh, the RV is plugged into the generator now. It's running fine. I uh, kicked on the air conditioner, so it's going good. All the lights and everything are powered on. Uh, you can hear it when the AC kicks on, it'll, the generator will rev up a little bit, and that's just because it's drawing so much power for those air conditioners to kick on and um but it does fine it didn't flip a break or anything so it looks like we can run what we typically will run on any 30 amp hookup anyway we can mostly run all that stuff you just got to be very careful on what you're running together so we can run one ac 
we can run the microwave as long as other things are not going but we got we have two air conditioners you know we have microwave we have air fryer we have washer dryer so you kind of have to toggle what you're using to make sure that you don't blow the circuits uh in your in your generator but at least we got it all hooked up now it wasn't without issue or without um some he headache and heartache but we finally got it done it looks like now we have a generator that uh, that we can use in the event that we have a power outage or if we want to stay someplace uh, that doesn't have uh, power hookups so after two years of owning the, the generator and a year of dragging it around on the road we finally got it out finally got it uh, hooked up and broke in uh, we hope that you got something out of this this video and like we do at the end of all of our videos we're going to honor a fallen hero appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time bye